Quintilian Institutio Oratoria, Book One, Episode Three. Usus dende horati concilio, qui in arta poetica suadet ne praecipitetur editio, nonumque primatur in annum. Dabam his otium ut refrigerato in ventionis, amore diligentius repetitos, tam quam lector perpenderem. In this portion, Quintilian continues discussing his delay in publishing. Next, dende, making use of the advice of Horace. Usus is masculine, singular, and nominative. It is the subject. It's the participle from utor. It takes the ablative, an ablative of instrument, concilio, neuter, singular, and ablative, employing or making use of the advice of Horace, qui in arta poetica, who in his, the art of poetry, counsels, suadet. And now we receive the object clause of suadet, which is ne through anum, that a publication or edition should not be rushed, ne precipitatur, that it not be precipitated or be rushed and p published until the ninth year, nonum in anum, published until the ninth year. So precipitatur and promatur are both third singular, and they are present subjunctive, and they're both passive. The first one, precipito, is from precipitare, first conjugation verb, and the second one, promatur, is from premere, which is a third conjugation verb. So then, making use of Horace's counsel, who in his Art of Poetry says, or persuades, advises, don't hasten your publication and let it mature, let it sit, until the ninth year, nonum in anum, I was devoting my leisure, dabam otium, I was surrendering or devoting my leisure to these, meaning his libris, to these books, to these works. Otium is neuter, singular and accusative, the object of dabam, and dabam is an imperfect tense from the first conjugation, dare. And he says, I was doing this ut, in order that ut perpenderem, there's the verb with ut, this purpose clause, enunti atum finale, in order that once the amore in wentionis, once the joy or the love of discovery, the first rush of composition, once it had grown cold, refrigerato, this is a, an ablative absolute. With amore in the masculine singular and ablative, it's a third declension noun, modified by refrigerato. Once the love of discovery or the first rush of composition had grown cold, that I could perpenderem, I could weigh more carefully, diligentius. Weigh more carefully, diligentius, comparative adverb, could weigh more carefully my works, my books, repetitos. Once I had looked at them a second time, I could weigh them tamquam lector as a reader, masculine, singular, and nominative. In other words, he's trying to establish authorial distance, nonum anum, the ninth year. Let the rush of first composition cool and approach the works again, repetitos, as a reader, lector, in order to get a dispassionate evaluation. Here's a painting of the poet Horace as imagined by Anton von Werner, a painter who died in the early 20th century.